Now today there will be several important races that will be appearing on your ballot and joining me now is my colleague Earl Sotomayor with more on one of those races. It's the House District 23 race. Hi Earl. Good morning, Sarah. Incumbent Tony Gonzalez for the Republican Party is facing off with this challenger, Santos Simon for the Democrats, in a highly contested race. This district, U.S. District 23, is the largest on the U.S.-Mexico border, spanning 800 miles from El Paso to the Alamo City. And with this being said, this district is a huge area for the migrant crisis. And both candidates, they say they have plans on how they want to address it. So according to the U.S. Custom and Border Protection, the number of migrants illegally crossing the border has been on a decline since the summer, but this is still a problem. Of government officials believe there can be a surge depending on who becomes president, but both Gonzalez and Lamont each have different ways they want to address this. So let's start off with Congressman Gonzalez. Gonzalez says he wants to improve security at the border so that migrants who decide to enter the U.S. illegally are immediately deported. As a remedy, Gonzalez says he wants to double down on legal immigration in his own three-page bill proposal. Extends work visas from one year to three years, and it allows people to streamline the process. Instead of mailing in work visas, you do it online like everyone else. And, and there's also a border security piece to it, too. So you can, so you can do both. For Santos Lamont, he also wants to improve security on the border to prevent illegal migration. And his solution to the crisis is to bring federal judges to the border to work the backlog of migrants seeking asylum. What good does it do to our country if we're letting them in, going through an immigration process, but it takes years and years for them to get processed? And these people, as soon as they hit the ground in our country, they're already working. And we now have doctors. We just don't no, no longer have gardeners. At six, we'll go into more similar. At six, we're going to go into more similarities and differences between both candidates on how they want to address abortion, gun control, and our economy. But for now, reporting live at the Bear County Election Headquarters, Earl Sotomayor, Ken's Five.